Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a tutorial and that will be an eyeshadow tutorial. So I look a little bit different to what I usually look like just because I haven't got any eyeshadow or mascara on at all. Um, I've put the base on, I've put the foundation on, I've put the my blush and um, contour on as exactly the same as I usually do. I've also got a lipstick on. I will in fact, actually, it's a liquid lipstick from Milani. I will list all the products used um, that I've used today to create this look down below for you. Uh, but obviously, I will name the eyeshadows and all of the tools that I use as we go along. So first of all, I'm just going to pin my fringe back. And I have got a mirror here um, so that I can see what I'm doing. So first of all, and this is, I'm going to talk you through this is generally my day-to-day -day makeup or eyeshadow look this is how I usually apply it um, I do do different things eyeshadow looks but this is generally how I use the eyeshadows and um, how I apply them so first of all I'm going to get one of my trusty eyeshadow uh, brushes and these are the eyeshadow brushes that I use and purchase from Primark. They're a pound each and I love them because they are contoured and I can use them in two different ways. So I'm going to just pop on the base. Uh, this is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. So it looks like that. You can see I absolutely love this shade. So I'm just going to pop this on. So I'm just going to put that in the crease and just above the crease. And all I really want to do is um, just put pop one layer on there. So I'm just going to do the other eye as well. This step always takes a little while because I find that once this step is correct, everything else tends to work really, really well. So that was Peach Smoothie. So I've put pop that on there. That's the first um, eyeshadow. The next one, and I'm going for a pinky autumny look today. The next shade is going to be Cupcake. Now you saw me use this brush. I'm using this um, the flat part there. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to use this part here and I just find that rather than using lots and lots of brushes I can then use a couple of brushes for one look. So I then you pop the shadow on that bit there, the pointed bit, and then I'm going to pop that directly into the crease. So I'm just popping that shade, and did I say what it was? It's Cupcake from Makeup Geek. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm just building up that shadow all across the crease and again this does take a little while to build the crease up. What I don't want to do is go completely over the first shade of peach smoothie but I do want to build up some kind of colour. And like I say, it does take a little while just to build that up. So 
What I don't want to do is for it to become too overpowering. I want it to be, to just enhance my eyes. I don't like too much of a heavy look uh, because I want it to enhance my natural eyes without it being too heavy. Okay, so that's cupcake on now. That's looking really good. And I'm going to then go in with another um, shadow and this is Bitten by Makeup Geek just to give a little bit of depth there. Again, I'm going to use the pointed uh, tip of this brush. Now this time I'm going into the crease here, but I'm also going on to the lid as well, the outer part of the lid. So I'm going into the crease and then I'm bringing it down onto the lid as well and then I'm just buffing that through. So then I'm just going to do the other eye as well. And I'm just turning the brush round now just to buff that onto the actual lid. And this brush works so well, it's absolutely amazing uh, just because it works so well for what I want it to do. And like I say, you can use it in a couple of different ways. I'm just going to put a little bit more Just buff that out. So yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm happy with that. So I've also taken it out a little bit on this side. I'm just going to do a little bit more on this one actually just to match it up. Just because it needs to come out a little bit more on that outer V. Blend that in. So that's now, I'm really happy with how that looks. That is exactly how I want that. Now, um, I'm just going to do the actual lid and I want to go in with a shimmery shade. Now, I've not used this shade before at all. It is Cinderella by Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand actually to see what that comes out like. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to pop this on with my finger just because I find that if I pop the shimmer shade on with my finger, it then gives me that shimmer shade, intense shade shadow, uh, rather than if I pop, pop it on with a brush, I tend to find that it flies everywhere and I don't necessarily, necessarily get the look that I want. So I'm just going to pop it on. So it's Cinderella, it's a gorgeous, like a dusky rose. Uh, so I'm just going to pop that on and that's all over the lid up until that outer third. Um, I don't want to cover all of the bitten on the outer part of that eye. So I do the same with the other. I also don't want it to be incredibly intense. I just want it to be, in fact actually it's very very similar colour to the jumper that I'm wearing today. So that is exactly what I would want. Now I'm changing a brush. I'm going for one of these brushes and this is another inexpensive brush. This comes from Wilco. It is a pound or 99 pence and it is very, very um, thin. You can see that. So I'm just going to start off by popping which shade was this? Cupcake under the eye, just to see if that is dark enough for what I want. And I'm just popping that underneath the eye and then I'm going to go up until the, the corner. I don't want to take it right in and I think this is going to be dark enough. I'm then going to connect that there to the V that I've created 
and I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. Just connect that. I'm just going to go over a little bit. So that's absolutely perfect. I'm then going to buff it a little bit um, using another brush from Wilco. Again, this is only about a pound, something like that. It's a little bit more dense, and that will then be I'll be able to buff that a little bit just to buff that out and shear it out a little bit. I don't want it to be too intense. This is obviously a daytime look. Then um, I'm going to add a shimmer to the inner corner. And for that, I'm using the NYX Full Throttle Palette. And this was Colour Riot. And I'm using this shade here, a shimmer shade. And I just want to pop that on the inner corner. I think it's going to be shimmery enough. And I don't want it too stark. That's that's not bad. Yep, yeah, that's not too bad. I've not used that before at all. Any of those shades, I um, I had to use that for another eyeshadow look. So that's completed the eyeshadows. Then I'm just going to pop on my trusty eyeliner and this is the number seven Stay Perfect. I've talked about this before in my favourites. I absolutely love this. So I'm just going to pop the eyeliner on. And the other eye. So that's the eyeliner done. I love this because it does last um, quite a while. And then I'm using the mascara. It's the Mega Volume Waterproof Hippie Mascara from L'Oreal. So it's that one there. I'm not particularly keen on this mascara, although I must admit I am getting more used to it now. The brush is quite thick, but I tend to find the formulation is quite dry. So I'm just going to pop that on. Now, I don't um, ever put mascara on my lower lash, and the reason is is because I tend to find that it always um, ends up on my under my eye, so I don't generally put mascara there. I just pop it on the the top. But this is quite a thick formulation. I don't know if there was something wrong with the actual packaging because when I went into Boots and actually picked this up, there was no cellophane over any of the mascaras. I did want to try this one, uh, so I did think it was strange, but it just seems to be quite dry. So I, I need to pick another one of those up quite soon, I think. So I'll just take the clip out. And there is the finished look. So I've used mostly Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Obviously the inner cor corner is the full throttle. And then I've used the number seven eyeliner, Stay Perfect. And then obviously the Miss Hippie uh, mascara. So that's the finished look there. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I, obviously thumbs up if you would like to see future tutorials. I'd really like to know if, uh, if you obviously enjoyed that and found that helpful. But thank you very much for watching. Obviously thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so just to watch further videos. But thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.